Greetings, adventurers. Today's video is sponsored by Maxine Jewelry. They are a beautiful jewelry company that creates high-end and elegant pieces at a very affordable price. They specialize in providing the best and brightest gifts to dazzle and delight using their high-quality lab-grown diamonds that rival natural diamonds in brilliance, in clarity, and in durability, and are available at a fraction of the cost of natural diamonds, making beautiful, high-end jewelry accessible to all. Maxine Jewelry sent me this beautiful bracelet, and you can see the sparkle on there is absolutely dazzling. So this bracelet came in a beautiful little jewelry box, and it was also sealed in an airtight silver jewelry pouch that can help to protect the sterling silver from natural oxidation. And they also included for free a little polishing cloth, so that if the jewelry does happen to oxidize over time. I have the perfect cloth to polish and keep it looking like it is brand new. And they even included this lovely, elegant gift bag, so it would be perfectly easy to give this as a wonderful gift to someone. This is an absolutely beautiful piece of jewelry that I know is going to last a lifetime. So, if you are in the market for some high-end but affordable jewelry for yourself, treat yourself, or for Christmas around the corner, I highly suggest that you check them out. And right now, they also have a buy one, get one free sale going on right now. I know. So, go check them out. You get two beautiful pieces of jewelry for the price of one, whether you have two different people on your Christmas list that might appreciate it, or, you know, one's a Christmas list gift, one's for you. Treat yourself, right? <laughs> anyway, I highly suggest it. They are a beautiful, beautiful company that has been such a joy to work with. So, thank you so much to Maxine Jewelry for sponsoring today's video, and thank you for watching. Oh, hello. Are you ready for our energy healing session today? Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just your energy is feeling a bit all over the place, if you don't mind me saying. <laughs> Have you been feeling a bit off lately? Maybe a bit more than a bit. I'm feeling... Some restlessness, quite a lot of stress, of your mind just not being able to focus on things, of perhaps signs of depression, malcontent. Hmm, you know what this is? I think you're starting to feel some very strong burnout. Does that sound about right? Feeling like you can never quite do enough. And so you keep pushing yourself more and more and more. But the more that you push, the worse it gets. I thought as much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you've been feeling that way. Whether it's because of things around you, whether it's because of things inside of you, it's never good. You know, sometimes we can push ourselves so hard that the only thing left to do is crash. <laughs> it's quite unfortunate that we put ourselves through that, but... If you would allow me, I think I may be able to help you a bit today. Do 
feel some of these feelings of burnout. Does that sound good? Good. Thank you, my friend. I would very much like to be able to help. To help you not have those feelings. We can work to clear away some of this stagnant or restless energy. See, sometimes our energy can get bogged down by the things around us that worry us, and it can cause the energy to either move very slowly and form almost like little patches of dormant, sort of sticky, gluey energy. Or sometimes it can trap energy in one place and it moves around very, very quickly, but it's not really going anywhere. It's not doing anything, it's just there and it's wrong. So we can work to clear away those areas to realign the energy points on your body, open up any of those chakras that may be blocked by all of this feeling of burnout and perhaps give you some new calming, nurturing energy instead. Does that sound good? Alright, now let me tell you what we're not going to do in this healing session today. We are not going to blame ourselves. We're not going to fret about things that we think we should have done that we haven't. We're not going to fret about not being as productive as we want, or or things that could have gone better. We're not going to fret about outside stresses that have been pulling us down. We're not going to do any of that. What we're going to do is help realign our energy, take out any of that bad energy, and hopefully feel a little more like it's okay to take some that sound good? Good, good, good. Alright. Going to start out, I think, by lighting a few candles for us, okay? Let's see. Let's do this one first. This is one of my little spell candles, as you've seen before. This one. Now the colour orange in magic has to do with energy, with confidence, with self-will, with feeling energised in a healthy way. Not that frantic, I have to get everything done energy, but just a very good, solid, healthy Hopefully bestowing upon you some healthy, good, restorative, joyous energy, alright? Alright, I'm going to put this one to the side over on this side of you, okay? There we go. Now, for our second candle, I think we'll do... Yeah, I think this will be nice. We're going to light a pink candle. Pink in magic is the colour of love, but more than, not, not necessarily the passionate romantic love, but a feeling of self-love and inner peace. Being comfortable with who we are, loving who we are, exactly as we are. So I think we like to this one too. We we'll have good, healthy energy, and good, healthy self-love today. I think that would be very, very nice. There we are. And this, 
hopefully will also help to bestow onto you some gentle, nurturing self-love. I'll put this one over to this side if you're okay. There. Now those will just continue to burn very gently as we move into our session today. Now, first of all, I think I'm going to light some incense for us. Does that sound good? Okay. I've got a lovely incense here for today. This has been one of my favourites lately. This is sandalwood incense. Now, sandalwood is a very gentle scent as far as incense is concerned. It's very soothing, it's very earthy and full and very natural scent. So, we light this. Now, sandalwood is excellent for cleansing and especially excellent for feelings of calm and gentleness. There we are. Just light the tip of that. Make sure it catches. scent of the sandalwood will help just wake up your energy a little bit so that we can work with it today. As I move this around we can start to also perhaps take some deep breaths together. You can breathe in the scent of the sandalwood and also just work to calm and center your energy too as we breathe. Breath in with me. Hold for a moment. And breathe out. Good, good. Take a deep breath in. Hold for a moment. in that lovely scent of the sandalwood. And now, I'm just going to use this feather. This is the feather from an owl. A beautiful brown owl. The bird that symbolizes wisdom. But is also a very fierce predator. A very fierce hunter. Wisdom It's also a sign of power, not the physical strength, maybe, but still knowledge and wisdom, knowing when to act and when to not act, very, very powerful things. Of course the owl also has physical strength too, you know what I mean. Just going to use this all along your energy to tail it. Just brushing that smoke around you. Letting it really permeate your energy. There. Hopefully that will start to wake up your aura a little bit. Put this to the side, but it will, of course, continue burning all right. I'm just going to place it over here. Let that smoke guide. 
to the rest of our session now. That very, very cool thing of feeling. All right, now I would like to just to place my hands close to you. I won't actually touch you. I'm just going to be here examining your energy, all right? Okay. This will just give me a good idea of where we should be working today, all right? Okay. Feeling lots of little pockets and blockages here. It's very common for burnout to have your energy just very conflicted feeling. We always feel like we should be doing more and more and more, and yet our bodies are telling us to stop, stop, stop. And yet the emotional stress, the turmoil, whatever it is that is causing us to just keep going feels like we cannot stop, because if we do, we know that it's probably going to lead to, well, sometimes a crutch, sometimes our body just forces us to stop and we get sick. Either way, it's definitely a lot. energy here that is not serving you. So we'll definitely take care of that today. Mm. Mm. That's alright. Getting a good feel of everything here. Yes, we've definitely got some work to do, haven't we? Getting rid of some of these patches of stagnant and then the restless energy as well. Hmm. Alright. I think what I'm going to do first, you know, often when we have energy that is a bit problematic, it it tends to cling to us a bit closer. And sometimes it's actually hidden by energy that is feeling okay in the aura. So what I'm going to do first is take this feather I'm going to just brush to the side some of the energy that is good. We're not going to get rid of it, of course, but I'm just going to brush it to the side a bit so that I can get at the energy underneath. Does that make sense? Alright, so again, I don't have to do anything here. I'm just going to brush the side of a good energy. are phrases that I think will help to heal that mentality that has led to your burnout. Okay. Right. I'm just 
going to bring this in here and just start pulling out this negative energy. I am enough. I am enough. Just the way that I am. My value is not based on my productivity. My value is not based on my productivity. I am deserving of rest. Do you believe that? That can be a difficult one to believe sometimes. We think that we're only allowed to rest after we've finished a certain task. After we've finished doing what we're supposed to do, then we are allowed to rest. But that's not really how it works. You see, we are creatures of nature. We are not meant to just constantly go and not need rest until we're productive enough. And there are all kinds of wonderful lessons that nature can teach us, but one of my favourites is that nature is very excellent at resting. Nature is wonderful at being productive and then being dormant. You know, we have spring. Spring, the season where new life starts to emerge, where we plant the seeds that we want to see grow. And then we have the season of summer, the season of that growth of vitality and energy from the sun. And then we have the season of autumn, where we harvest the seeds of our hard work. And then, we have the season of winter, where the whole world goes to sleep. Some people don't like winter because they see it as very dark and cold, which it is those things, yes. But I think that most people see that as a negative, bad, and, and more like death during winter. Yes, some things die, but many things are just dormant. They're just resting. <laughs> Nature knows that she needs periods of rest so that she can grow. There would be no spring if there was not winter. There would be no growth if there was not rest. We work the same way. It's going to work here. Yeah, it's a bit of energy here. Yeah, it's just very stubborn. It's a bit clingy. Mm. I need to brush a little bit of that to just break it up a bit, okay? There we go. So that phrase, I am deserving. We do not deserve rest because we've done things. We deserve rest because we're creatures that need rest. We need periods of rest. Just like everything else. There we go. I think that worked to soften it up a bit. I'm going to use this one, I think, for that spot. My little wand here is just going to be get in there very precisely. There we go. Good, good. I deserve periods of rest. I am enough. I know when to work hard and when to rest. 
I know when to work hard and when to rest. I accept the day for what it is. I accept this day for what it is. I am thankful for the good things that happened today. And I let go of the things that I cannot change about today. I am not defined my productivity. There we are. I am not defined by my productivity. I am enough just as I Do you believe that? I know, sometimes it can be difficult, but I promise that it's true. I promise that it is. Alright, I'm going to use another tool here. This is a sunflower. Not that kind of sunflower. An actual, literal. See, this is a very special flower that was actually crafted through fairy magic from the beams of sunlight on a warm summer day. Each of those beams of sunlight bringing with it a pure, energizing, but healing and nurturing energy because when we're feeling burnt out we don't have much energy or we have the wrong kinds of energy but this is an energy that will help you grow when you need to and will also help you rest right so i'm just going to bring this in this is going to help siphon out some of that restless energy Just bring that in and then pull it out. Good, 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 good. Keep thinking of those phrases, okay? I am enough just as I am. I am not defined. a healthy level of ambition. I have a healthy level of ambition. I can prioritize my self-care. something that can tend to suffer when we're in the middle of burnout as well, is taking care of ourselves. I can prioritize my self-care. Sometimes the only way to really focus on our self-care is to actually schedule it and put it on Whatever it is that you 
want to schedule it or that may be something to work on this week if you would like. It's a good phrase to say to help remind yourself to make it true. I can enjoy hobbies and my interests without feeling guilty. I can enjoy hobbies and interests without feeling guilty. I know when to work and when to rest. I am enough. You are. You're enough just as you are. Even if you don't think that you've got enough done today, even if you feel like there's so much more to be accomplished in this moment, you are enough. You're always enough. Alright? on this flower now as it comes in. Focus, focus, focus on the sunlight flower. Good, 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 good. Let that fill you with a nurturing energy. Energy to help you focus on work when you need to and focus on yourself when you need to as well. Good, good. Alright, I think we've got some of that energy taken care of. Good, okay. Now, I'm going to infuse you with some other energy from this rose quartz. See, the sunflower gave you some good nurturing energy. And this is going to encourage feelings of self-worth and self-love that are not based on how productive you are or how much you've gotten done today. Not based on those things that can lead to burnout, but just because you are you. That's all that matters, alright? So, I'm just going to use this crystal. I'm going to infuse it with my energy and pass it on to you. Feelings of self-love. Feelings of worthiness. Because you are worthy. Just as you are. Okay? Right. Here we are. can take care of myself, my physical and emotional needs. Good, 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 good. Let's lay that one up a bit more. Alright, I'm just going to use my quartz again, my quartz point. Just pull out any of this other energy, the restless energy that leads to burnout. Okay. I'm just going to come in here and just pull that out. I'm going to get as much of that as we can. Good, 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 good. If you would like, you can work on some deep breaths again, right? Breathe in.
everything. And out. Good, 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 good. Right, I think now I'll do some pulling and brushing away of this restless energy just with my hands, right? So you don't have to do anything for this part if you don't want. You can focus on my hands if you would like. You can focus on your breathing if you would like. You can focus on some of those phrases I was saying earlier if you would like. It's up to you. I'm just going to take some of this restless energy. I don't want to move too suddenly. I'm just moving very gently and fluidly because we don't want this negative. just want to gently pull it out. Just to make way for that nurturing energy. A healthy energy that will help us do what we need to do, but also know when to stop. This frantic, always needing to do more, never feeling like we're enough. You are enough, just as you are. I hope that you're feeling a bit better, a bit more relaxed. experiencing some burnout. Sometimes the hardest thing about burnout is recognizing it and knowing when to stop. Sometimes it comes all at once, but sometimes it also creeps up on us. We just think that we're being productive. We're being diligent or being ambitious, none of which are bad in and of themselves, but if we take it too far, we prioritise those things over prioritising our own health, our relationships, our emotional and physical when it gets to be too much. But it's alright. We can fix it. Recognising that you're experiencing burnout is the first step in healing. Prioritising your self-care. Having a healthy sleep routine. Eating healthy, listening to your body when it tells you to rest. Taking time to enjoy loved ones, enjoy activities and hobbies that are just for fun. All of those things are wonderful. Hmm. Right. Well, I think that 
you're looking much, much, much better. You feeling a bit better? Good, good. Now I'm going to take this feather again. I'm going to brush back the good energy that I brushed away earlier, okay? This will help to just put everything back where it's supposed to go. Now, this good energy that you already had will be able to fill in the gaps of that stagnant and the frantic energy that we removed. Okay? Alright. Just very gently brush that in. Smooth out where we were. better movement around. A healthy amount of movement, not areas where you're stuck and areas where your energy's going crazy. Just a solid, gentle flurry of energy. Good. Good. So that's looking quite nice. Okay. Just going to use my hands one more time and just smooth out everything one final time, okay? Alright. Just smoothing around your energy forces here. some people, myself included, but promise me that you will try, okay? You are enough, not because of how much you've accomplished in a day, or how much you've accomplished in your life, but you're enough just because you're you, alright? Alright, well, thank you for coming to see me today. Your energy is looking much better. I hope that you're feeling a bit better too. Good. You know I'm always here when you need it, okay? Alright, well, you'd better get home so you can get some much needed rest. And I'll see you next time, alright?